If you want to take your VN editing skills to the next level, keep watching because in today's video, I'll be sharing with you seven advanced editing tips within the VN VlogNow video editor app, whatever they're calling it right now. And I'll be showing you guys everything from how to do keyframes, green screen, add cinematic black bars, social media logos, etc all within this video. And I actually have it timestamped down below, so if there's something you already know how to do within the app, you can just skip ahead to the next tip. Now on this channel, my goal is to help you create videos on your smartphone so you can grow an audience, help others, and make money doing what you love. So if that's something that interests you, join our community and subscribe, and be sure to check out our playlist section. I've already made a whole bunch of videos to help you get started. So let's jump into these seven tips. Advanced editing tip number one, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use keyframes. Uh, and basically the simplest way to explain keyframes is it, it's basically the ability to move an object or text or a photo or cause and effect to go from one point to another point. And I'm gonna demonstrate this on my iPad here. I actually have a Bluetooth mouse hooked up to my iPad just to show you what I'm clicking on. Uh, but what we're going to do is go down to tap to add sticker slash PIP, picture in picture. And I'm just going to go to a photo of myself real quick. And we're going to import that in. There we go. And I'm just going to move my image down here. Now you'll notice in the options here we have keyframe. And what's, what's going to happen is we'll click keyframe here. And if you notice, it's really hard to see. I'll zoom in. But there's a little like diamond piece there for the keyframe. We've put down basically a keyframe marker there. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scroll ahead in the video to let's say here. And all I'm gonna do is grab this image and move it over here. And it's gonna drop another keyframe as you can see on there. And this is basically the easiest way to explain it. When I scroll to the beginning here, notice how I move back and forth between the points it's because I put two keyframe points down, it's allowing me to move that image from one point to the next point. And you can not only move stuff, if I wanted to, let me remove this keyframe by clicking the minus button. And then we're gonna do is scroll back over to the first one. And let's just put my image here. We could also increase the size by just grabbing this here, increase. And now what the keyframe will do is increase the size between here and here. See how that works? And like I said, there's a lot of cool things you can do with keyframes, like move text across the screen, move objects, stickers, you know, little GIFs, you know, whatever you want to do, keyframes give you the ability to do that. And that's pretty much the basics of keyframes. Advanced editing tip number two, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do green screen effects within the VN Video Editor app. Now, something I did before this, I went on to YouTube, which is a gold mine. There's so many videos, uh, green screen videos. And what I actually did was I recorded my screen uh, showing a subscribe button with a green screen behind it. So what I'm going to do is add that to the timeline here. So I'm going to click tap to add sticker slash PIP. And here is the video. And what I'm going to do is first trim it here because you can see my iPad screen here and we don't want that. So I'm going to trim it down to right where I click play on the video, about right there. And then I'm going to scroll over here and trim it on the other side. You can see me stopping the recording there and I'm just going to drop it about here. And also to note, if you... Uh, don't have a screen recorder built into your device. There's plenty of free screen re screen recorders on the Play Store or on the App Store, so you can use any one of those if you want. Uh, my device had a screen recorder built in. Um, so now that I've got it trimmed up, uh, what I'm going to do is click the crop button, and I just don't want these black bars here. You can see how there's black bars in, so I'm going to choose 16 by 9 might even zoom in just a little bit more just to make sure I only have the green screen within the video like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is go down here and go to chroma. This is the chroma green screen. So if we click on that, we can grab this other plus here and move it over the green. 
and it's going to disappear. And we can also choose the intensity of it. So make it really intense, which is what we want to do. We want to make sure all the green screen is removed. Click the check mark. And now we have this green screen video added. And we can click play here. And there it is. We've got our green screen video added within our timeline. And if I want, I can actually click on this. I can move it down below to the corner here, just so that way if I was doing a talking video, I could show the subscribe button in the corner. Tip number three, I'm going to be showing you guys how to color grade your footage within the VN app. So what you're going to do is click on the footage you want to color grade, which I have selected. And then I'm going to click on filter. And in here, I'll have a whole bunch of different templates that I can click on and go through. Uh, I'm just going to click through a few of these and try and find something I like. Eh, a lot of these are kind of not good. <laughs> uh, I kind of like that one. Um, but you can also choose the intensity of it. So there's what we started with. And you know, I really like what this effect does. So I'm just going to leave it at 100% intensity. And then what I can do is click on adjust over here. And I have more options to color grade. I can affect the exposure here. I'm just going to go through this a bit. Uh, I personally like things with less contrast. And I do like saturation and making it more colorful. Um, the best thing you can do is just go through these settings and kind of mess around with them. I'm sure you've edited photos on Instagram. So you, know, you can go through and just apply these effects to your video and make it look professional. Now, if you're doing multiple clips, there is this apply to all button that you can click. And if you click that, it'll apply the color grading effects to the entire timeline. Uh, so if you take a lot of videos in the exact same spot and you want to apply all the same color grading effects at the same time, you can click this apply to all button, but I'm not going to do that this time. And there we go. Now we have a video that looks so much better than what we started with. Editing tip number four, I'm going to be showing you how to add social media logos with PNG photos because, hey, sometimes you want to show people on screen your Instagram or your Facebook or your website or something like that. So I want to show you how you can add that and make it look nice within this app. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to go over to Chrome, the web browser, and what you want to do is search whatever logo you're trying to show, followed by the words PNG. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull up images with transparent backgrounds. So the way you know you've actually found one, if you look at this photo here, it's got a white background, but when we click on it, it switches to the white and gray squares. And that's how you know it's a real PNG photo. And the reason I'm bringing up real PNG photos is because a lot of people struggle with this. They'll see photos like this and like, oh, it's white and gray squares, but it's there's a lot of fakes out there. So you do have to try a few images to find one with a transparent background. Uh, so like, for example, this one, when we click on it, it's those tiny white and gray squares. We know this is a real image. And there's a whole bunch of different Instagram logos we can choose from. So just find one you like. So this one I like, so what I'm going to do is save this image to my gallery, and then we're going to import it into VN. All right, so I'm back in VN. I'm going to click to add that image. So I'm going to click there, go to Photos. Here's that Instagram image, so I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, there's no background. So I'm just going to resize this down. Looks nice and sharp. I'm going to put it in the corner over here. And then what I'm going to do is click over here and click Tap to Add Subtitle. And I'm going to add my Instagram text here. So once you've gone through and applied all your text effects, I'm just going to resize it here and put it right next to my Instagram like that. Then click the check mark. Make sure it lines up right at the same time of the Instagram one. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is click on each one of these. I'm going to click motion and I'm going to choose an in transition in animation of fade on both of these. So that way it doesn't just appear there, it'll fade in. So now when we click play on this, our Instagram fades onto the screen. And you could also do the same thing and apply a motion, a fade out animation uh, using the motion button here. And that's how you do it. Now I have this Instagram logo appear on my screen and 
it's something that can be very useful for your videos. Tip number five here, I'm gonna be showing you how to add the cinematic black bars into your video. And similarly, what we're gonna do is actually open up Chrome and I actually have black bars PNG pulled up here. It's literally the exact same thing. You're gonna click on a photo, make sure it's got those uh, black, the uh, white and gray squares on it. Then what you can do is save that image to your gallery. And then all we have to do is resize it here to cover our video like so. And there we go. Now we have those cinematic professional looking black bars over our video to give it that cinematic movie look feel. Editing tip number six, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the crop in. So you'll notice sometimes that YouTubers will do a zoom in on their face and then they'll zoom right back out and I'll be showing you how to do that as well as do a very slow zoom in effect. So all you have to do is scroll to the spot where you want to zoom in and what you're going to do is click split on the screen here. Sorry, I wasn't showing. You click the split button here. Then we're going to scroll a little further to where we want it to zoom back in and we're going to click the split button. And then what we're going to do is on this, all we're going to do is click crop. We're going to zoom in with our fingers here a little bit, click the check mark. And now when we click play, it's going to zoom in and it'll do the little zoom out here. I'll click play to show you. Your editing skills within LumaFusion keep watching because it's there I did that little zoom in type effect which you know a lot of youtubers use i use it all the time because it kind of breaks up the video keeps it entertaining now what if you want to do a slow zoom in on your face well the way you're going to have to do that is to use keyframes and the only way you can actually use keyframes within vn is if your video is on the picture in picture level which ours isn't so VN, if you watch this, please add keyframes to the bottom videos, please, <laughs> because it, it makes it a lot difficult to be able to do this effect. So what we're going to need to do is first just delete this video, and we just need to add a blank clip on the bottom. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to add a photo. It doesn't matter which photo you choose. I'm just going to choose our cinematic black bar photo here. There it is, and I'm just gonna and we'll have to extend this as long as we're doing the zoom in clip. Extend it for like that long, and then and then what I'm gonna do is tap to add sticker PIP. We're gonna click on that video we wanted to do the slow zoom in on. I'm just gonna trim it here real quick. So we have this blank clip down below, and then we have the video we actually want to use on top, so we can zoom in just to fill the screen like there there we go so it's just like we had it before but now there's a blank clip underneath it and all we're gonna do then is click on the video click keyframe which is gonna put a marker down right there scroll ahead as far as we want to zoom we're gonna put keyframe there and then we're just gonna take our fingers and we're gonna just zoom right in on our face so now when we click play here, if you want to the keyframes are going to zoom in on your face. And the longer the video you have and the longer you want to put the keyframes is up to you, but you can do that effect with the keyframes. It's just a little weird and difficult the way you have to do it because of VN and keyframes. <laughs> And finally, tip number seven is that you need to master filmmaking. You can do all the fancy edits, but if you're not taking good video in the first place, your video edits aren't going to really matter. So I highly recommend you click on this playlist on how to film on your smartphone. I'll show you all the tips you need to get professional looking smartphone video. I'll see you over there and thanks for watching this video.